Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is going to be something different. I'm going to start doing a little, I think it's called this little series where I'm going to start doing poverty fire runs. Um, one thing I will mention though at the very beginning of this video, I do not recommend copying this pool. This pool is not even close to optimal. Secondly, I definitely recommend putting pledges on your grid if you can, as much as you can. You want to amp out your overall damage output to the highest possible amount you can do. Uh, I just went with the minimal, bare, bare minimum for a video. I do not recommend it. This is rather hard for people who don't have a lot of experience. I do not recommend it. Um, just throwing that out there. Now, with this run, um, I well, with poverty runs, I will be using no limited units, no limited weapons, and no limited characters. So everything will be either be practicable or farmable. You're probably wondering why it's not full free to play because I don't want to. First of all, half the stuff I don't want you want to farm it, and then secondly, uh, I don't want to suffer that much. <laughs> to be honest, I really just don't want to suffer that much. So I'm, I'm trying to do is like everything that's practicable or farmable, one or the other, and that and no practicable weapons. So no gets nothing like that. We're gonna keep it generally free to play us or free to play friendly Well, I guess it would, I guess it's not free to play friendly to like, you may not have something you may have to surprise ticket who knows anyways Do note that this run does have Claris in there. That's why you do see Medusa over Sarasa if Medusa if if there was no Claris I'll be running Medusa in the back row and Sarasa in the front row But there would happen to be a Claris. So I, I do want to note that um pretty core in this room now you do know that i do kill up jury that's very common practice um one thing i will note though if you're using medusa with jury don't use medusa scale one at the beginning of the fight because it will have you will have a harder time killing off jury than what um than without it so i would not use medusa scale one at the very beginning of the fight now one thing i will mention that this fight is rather hard and it does require you to play at a very okay pace and know and keep track of the stacks on the main body very important you're playing with one dispel so this is, this is something you have to be paying attention to and does require you to really think now it's still possible don't get me wrong but just know that you're playing with only one spell there's no alex here so you don't have enough dispeller so you just know that you're gonna have to also bring karen like the summons, you can see, I don't know if I'll pop them up, but the summons I brought were Typhon, Athena, Kirin, and the newest uh, summon, C2, from the uh, limited event right now. So I recommend farming that. The C2 summon is really good for giving you Ogi charge and giving you that little bit of damage. It's like a poverty Bahamut. It's like a free-to-play Bah Bahamut, rather. So It's really good. Um... I only bring it if I have troubles with the uh, if I have troubles with the 10 million damage in one turn, the labor. So um, in this run, I did not I do not use it for the labor because I I do happen to chain a Bahamut prior, so I did not have to use it. If I did not chain the Bahamut, then I would have used it. Now you may have know I did take Iblis here. Um, you definitely want to like the the basic stuff is that you generally don't want to take any Ogies. So you want to use substitute on Ibilis and stuff like that to to make mitigate most of the damage because you don't have a lot of healing on Earth unless you're running like other units like Summer Summer Vera uh, DLF DLF is not a bad option here either if you want to bring DLF over Sara or um, that's mainly the only option if you bring DLF and Sara one of them is going to end up dying at the end so. You, you don't want to do that generally unless the unit is really 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 good so right here you do see i do chain the bahamut now i was in a really bad situation here because one the boss is at one diamond so i guess gravity missed from quatre so i was a little bit annoyed about that um secondly i do have fear on my sara and she has 89 charge bar that means that if i was the ogi um she would not get enough charge bar not to mention that Octo is also at 170 instead of 180. I only noticed it last second. So I kind of try to push an extra turn to get enough charge bar for Octo. 
Hold up. There is a Lucifer there. I was not able to chain it because I was waiting. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you're playing um, Earth, you kind of want to get as many Lucifer as you possibly can because Earth does not have a lot of healing. So I cast Phalanx here uh, to give the guy to X turn. Hopefully that they would clear me. Um, but when I cast Phalanx, I did notice that I did not have enough charge bar on Octo. So I pushed for the extra turn. <laughs> <laughs> I pushed last second. Luckily, I did not um, push the 50, but I only noticed it last second, so it was a little bit unfortunate. Now, we did get the clear there, so we were in a good situation. I would have failed the labor, actually, if I did not push at that last minute, so I got lucky there, personally. That was my fault. I was not paying attention. Now, right here, we are in a bad situation because I don't have Sara to tank the Ogi now. So the Ogi generally for 95 always go to your main character. So I was like, ah, oh, man, this kind of sucks. Uh, I tried to chain, what was that, Michael, I think, or Athena? I tried to chain the summon. Unfortunately, I did not chain it. And I was like, ah, but I did get a Phalanx, so it wasn't that bad. You do get Water Swamp on Ogi. So I do take quite a bit of damage, um, but it worked out in the long run, I think. Because we don't have any heal, I was kind of just waiting for the Fig. If you didn't know, Fig can heal you. So, I was waiting for Fig so I can get the healing back after this. I actually, actually barely cleared my labor with the uh, Bahamut to give you an idea how, like, underperforming this grid is. <laughs> I don't recommend it. I didn't put any pluses on it because I don't want people to complain about, oh, my grade's not plus 99. To be honest, this would be. This would be close to plus 99, if not fully plus 99. At the rank that, I think, rank 170, right? So, yeah. So right here, I did use Athena. Um, Athena's 40, 85. I also go get Fig, so that was my game plan. But right now we're just waiting for Phalanx. This is, right around this area, there's a lot of waiting, so a lot of dead time. Cause I, I think everyone pushed so hard, people are just trying to like figure out what to do next. Cause my one Ogi threw me right into 85, so. So right now I'm, I'm gonna ask for clear because I do have Zombie on, on Octo and Medusa, and I can't really afford them losing 4k health because I don't have a lot of healing. So they did clear me. So right now I'm going to dispel. Do know that this team is only one dispel. So right here, this is the hardest part about it. You need to be paying attention to the diamonds on the main body. Do note that he did not gain any diamonds. So he still only has one diamond on him. I don't think it's a quadrate in this run actually. You know, there is. I think, I think he just missed the main body a, a couple times. So. Unfortunately, we are in a hard place right now. You you noticed that I was waiting and I did not hit the spell. I was waiting because at 85, it's kind of like, it's kind of hard because people may want to be pushing the body, right? And you don't want to overheal it so that when somebody makes their push, they end up dying because they, you, you healed it right before they push. So I waited a little bit, let the boss lose a little bit of health, and then I heal him up. It's very, very important that you did. If you're near 85 or 95 and you have fig, don't heal instantly. Let somebody push the boss because if you heal and someone gets like try messes up and they go into a trigger because or they don't go into a trigger with their cut, then you ended up screwing screwing them over because you healed the boss. So you don't want to heal instantly. Take your time. Now, at this point right here, you're probably wondering why I'm not moving. I could move, but because the, the as I mentioned, I only have one dispel. Because I only have one dispel, I'm I have the mindset I don't want to take any ogies unless it's a trigger. So I'm, right now, I'm just waiting it out until somebody can either push it to close the break and I'll break it, or the boss goes into break, or if somebody activates gravity. None of which happens though. So we're in a hard situation right here. So right there, I thought I had enough damage to push it. If it was a different grid, or if I had plus 99 on my grid, maybe I would have. 
but I did not have plus 99, and I ended up suffering for it. And it puts him at level 4, I believe. Now, as I mentioned, I did bring Karen. I'll put him at B. B is the worst. So, I think at this situation, I was like, oh man. Uh, awkward moment. You don't want to take any turns if the boss has V. So, I just wait. Uh, I was hoping that somebody would call a Michael or Zeph. Or anything would like him to dispel the boss. Luckily, somebody does call it. And I am able to grab it. If not, um, things could have went bad. But luckily, I was able to grab it. I believe he dispels you and he casts 10% to 10k damage on level 5. So you don't you don't want to take any turns with level 5 up. So right now he's at level 4. So we're, we're, we're okay. But you do note right now we've hit the body on 75. And there's an earth uh, labor. So I've tried to clear it right here. Um, unfortunately, I don't do damage. <laughs> with this pool, it's not enough damage. I didn't have Octo Skill 1 up. Um, it was just overall bad. When I look back at it now, I probably should have just auto the turn instead of trying to push. But um, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was uh, not the greatest. If I had more damage, it would have worked right there perfectly fine. But in hindsight, I should have auto there and um, went for my, my, my C2 summon. I think it's up right now. No, it's not. I had a current. I would, regardless, I would have been screwed anyway, to be honest. I would have had to have chain a Bahamut regardless. So I guess it's, it's not that bad. Cause I, I, I wouldn't, if I didn't Ogi there, I would not have water cut. So I guess, I guess it wasn't a bad idea. Now I use Kieran to get me, um, get back my dispel so I can dispel the boss again. Cause right now it's at level four. So I'm trying to take it down all the way, at least to level three. I do know that 70 is going to full diamonds. So. I've tried to take a turn before the full diamonds if I can. The reason I take a turn before full diamonds is so that I can get one turn reduction on my dispel for the next dispel I need. Stuff like that is very important, like because you you do need every turn you can get so that you can keep dispelling the boss. Now I do use delay on the boss because you don't you can use delay here, so I just delay it so I don't take an Ogi again. Luckily, it does hit. Um, it can miss. So, just let, let people know that. It can miss. It doesn't always hit. Now, for the rare, rare situation here, I did have one crest on Medusa. And if you didn't know, Medusa skill 2 can delay with one crest. So, I do delay again. And I take a turn. And now someone has applied gravity, so he does have three uh, three diamonds again. So right now I'm just trying to get my team back to the full Ogi. So I, I could try to attempt to clear the labor again. But I do know that I need Bahamut. But because I'm not Japanese, I couldn't ask for Bahamut. So I, I, was, in like, I was just praying that somebody would call Bahamut for me. So I could chain it. Because I'm not Ogiing, you, you notice that my water swamp is dropping down. Or dropping off rather. So I think right here I'll wait for a Bahamut. See if somebody can chain I can chain a Bahamut here. I'm also waiting for the 55 because I don't have a way to 100 percent cut it. Um even though I have 90% cut with Phalanx, 90% cut, I don't want to take any damage when I'm on Earth. So I just wait it out to 55. It's better to take no damage than take a little bit of damage. Every little bit of damage just hurts you in the long run. So I'm still waiting for Bahamut to check if anyone has it. Um, no one had Bahamut, so I just go for the substitute. I clicked the skill, but it never came out for some reason. I don't know what what the hell happened here. So right there, I thought I clicked it, but uh, it didn't come out. So I like, oh, whatever. But, but we are able to chain a Bahamut here. So you can see them asking for me to, to do the labor. But because I'm watching all my Ogies and stuff and I'm playing slow, it's kind of hard. But I am able to clear it right now. We use Substitute because I, even if he out of breaks Ogies me, I, I know I'll be okay. I didn't want to take the chance that, oh, I didn't go with a full cut and um, 
he out of break Ogi me and kill my main character or kill any random unit here. We're still at a low amount of stack rack, two stacks. But um keep in mind, you know, his stacks can ramp up really fast, so with him getting all the full charged diamonds. Okay, so we, we right now we're just we just cruising through the fight. We can only use Athena here just to, just to take no damage. Even though Medusa does give 90%, as I mentioned, I'm playing with double stamina, so I don't want to take any damage. Don't want to risk it. You don't want to take no damage at all. We got lucky there that Sari got hit, and it wasn't my main character, because the spell on her doesn't matter that nearly as much because of her passive. Now we're just going for a little bit more damage. Trying to push to the 25 if we can. I didn't use the delay there. Um, I looked at it and I was like, oh. I thought he had one diamond on him, but he didn't. I don't know why that didn't damage me, to be honest. I didn't put the C2 summon. It doesn't give a barrier as well. So I guess with the, all the damage cut and the barrier, I didn't take any damage. Um, I run into the. I try to push into the 25, but I didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought I would do to push the 25. Unfortunately, so we just barely uh, miss out on that. But with this now, now the fight gets a lot harder because we don't have we don't have the, the spell up at nearly as much. So we we have to make sure that we take every turn with a cut if we can. Do know he does gain one stack on his 25. So. I didn't use, um, I think that's the spell, right? I actually don't know what my third skill is. Okay, so we just Ogi there. Let's get the water swamp up. So right now he's at level four. I do su substitute it. It was a delay, okay. So I substitute it uh, with my main character to make sure we take no damage. Because at 20, he does have a trigger, so you don't. 20 and then 10, he has a trigger. 15, I think he has a trigger too, but I don't really see it much. Something I forget about it. Maybe, it, I think it stops at like 12 or something. I use Medusa scale 1 here because it was no reason not to use it. Because we have the 90% cut, it's not that bad. I auto this turn right here. I turn off the thing and auto it because I wanted to get a little burst before uh, 10. So that, that's 15 right there. I don't see it too often, but don't you got to keep that in mind. There is the 15. Now notice, I am at level 5, so I did take the 10k plane damage. But Medusa has a little special effect where if she takes a, a massive amount of damage, she is able to activate her passive skill. Stay stiff and yeah. We are able to lower to um, IV. Now, even even with the amount of damage cut we have, um, the boss is dead now, but even with Medusa's damage cut on her scale one, it's not enough to go through uh, 10. Let's keep that in mind that with this team, you cannot go through 10. It's not possible. With Water Swamp and everything, it's, you're still going to be taking like, a, like, I think like 30k or something. So, unless you're at full health, maybe you can live, but... It's kind of hard. I do so all the stuff there that makes sure like, you can believe me. There was a plus 99 on the Typhon, I forgot. So unfortunately, I guess it, I did have one plus 99, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.